back to the paper subscription integration this is the step four of this integration which is creation of subscription you can start subscription in one of the two ways you can do that using paper smart payment button the javascript sdk or subscription by rest api paper recommend using subscription with smart payment button as it gives buyers a simplified and secure subscription experience so this is the option we'll be going for for the sake of this tutorial okay so when we scroll down so subscription with smart payment button to use this part we need to add a paper script to your web page render the smart payment button then creates the subscription all right so to do that we are going to copy this okay so remember when we created our plan we redirected the user to the pay.php plan passing the plan id plan variable in the url and also passing the access token remember the access token is always used to uh, uh, to assess the paper rest api all right uh, but before the first thing we will need to get this plan id and the access token so using paper php get global variable plan id okay then get the token find a variable call it token then php global get variable the name is access token i believe okay access token access underscore token all right then we will paste our code so we have gotten that in your spare time you can read all this but i'll just go to the most important part so this is the paper button container we need that so we're going to copy it and paste it all right next thing is to this is the paper button render but that's not the type we want this is the one we want the one that will create the subscription open a javascript tags okay all right um this is where we're going to pass the plan id from here from this variable so we are going to just echo it using php echo the plan id so for the token um In order to this token that we have gotten, because we need the token to assess the rest a paper rest API once we have created our subscription ID. Okay, after we have after we have created that, if it is successful, then you use the subscription ID to to get the subscription details and then insert in our database. Okay, once this is successful, we will use window dot location let's say um, the user will be redirected to sub underscore details something like that dot php we don't have the file yet we'll create that later then pass variable subscription id 
okay so we'll pass this variable just copy that and paste concatenate that again then and pass the access token as well in the url use the plus sign you can just paste this out so this is where we'll pass the token so in order to pass the token we'll have our token in in uh in php php variable so to convert that to javascript variable we we'll just open our tag and define a variable in, in javascript like var call it token can just open up a strings and echo out our php open our php tags and close it echo arch token so that token is uh is coming from here we'll echo it out here so that we can be able to remember to close it with a semicolon so you can be able to pass the token in the url in the sub underscore details details table all right then just write token all right i think that's just about it Okay, we are. We need to remember. We need to add our sandbox client ID here. Yes. All right. This is my sandbox client ID. If you log into your dashboard, you can get yours. Just paste it there. All right. So we're going to test it out and see if everything is works out fine we're going to head over to our browser now to test our scripts okay so remember we will be coming from access token.php file till pay.php file so we hit enter remember your internet connection must be on all right so from access token once we have generated it we'll go to create our product then create our plan then head to our pay so this is it it's working so in the url we'll have our plan id and you should also have our access token so this is access token this is our access token so if we pay by you can pay by by if paypal accounts remember as this is sandbox you can you use your sandbox personal account to make payments okay sandbox personal account or you can use test cards i have a text card here so we can use a test card to make payments so this is it all right remember if you have got some value please don't forget to hit that like button if you have any question leave it in the comment section i will attend to all your questions so this is it this is it so if you open this up remember our subscription payment is 40 dollars as we have on the plan this says subscription details 40 dollars usd for each month remember it is infinite every month you'll be billed 40 dollars if it was finance then it will be billed maybe if the user subscribe for just a certain 
number of months, like six months or any of that, starts on the August 21st, 2021. So let's make, let's make our payment. I'll use this test card that I have here. And country, I'm using uh, South Africa. So this test card expires any day in the future. Any three digit number. Let's say um, first name Joe, last name Biden. Address, um, can use this address, number one, phase six, Cape Town, Cape Town. This is the postcode, valid postcode that is in South Africa. Then we can just add our email address. Okay. No, I do not want to create account. Um, before then, this is my. This is where the payment should reflect. This is where the payment should refresh. This is my password for the business and boss business account. Let me just log in. Why it logs in? Let me just make the payment. So agree and pay. This should take us to sub underscore details of PHP file, which we don't have yet. All right, I think it's successful. Now the URL we pass, this is the subscription ID. That's the subscription ID. And also that is the access token. As you can notice, every stage we keep on passing the access token so that we can be able to have an access to the API API REST API. Okay. So in our next stage, we are going to this is where we'll use the subscription ID to fetch the subscription details in our database. So we can always update it should in case the user wants to cancel his or her subscription. All right. So let me check my dashboard. So this is dashboard. Uh, let me just refresh that and see if we received any payments. Alright guys, don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed to the channel. Alright, I think it was successful. Our amount just increased. And we can see our details. Okay, still loading. My network is a bit slow. I don't know why. Network is just slow. So if you click on new subscriptions, I think they will see the subscription details. All right. It's successful. Look at it. This is subscriber email that we filled, and the status is active. And this is subscription plan premium video plus. Premium video plus. And I think that's what we have here. Premium video plus. Yes. And this is the subscription ID. Should be the same with the one we have in the URL KMEV. Let's see KMEV. See, it's the same. All right, guys. I'm happy at least we have learned something today. In our next tutorial, we're going to learn how we can use this subscription ID to fetch other details. The subscription plan, like the user email address, the name, the 
payment email, the name of the customer that made payments, even address. Okay, I will see you guys on the next one.